we are continuing on our journey to build out a Spring Boot REST service. Um, in the last video, we created a JPA entity. Uh, in this video, we're going to go ahead and create a JPA repository. Uh, so a JPA repository is basically an interface that supports uh, CRUD operations. So creating, reading, updating, deleting records against your data store. Um, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a package to put our repositories in. We will come up here and new package. We'll just call it repository and click finish. Uh, and then in our new package, we're going to create a new, and this time, this time it's not going to be a class, this time we're going to create an interface. So new interface. And we'll go ahead, since it's going to be working with our team entity, we'll call it team repository. And click finish. All right, so we're going to go ahead and extend this repository uh, to use JPA repository. So basically, we're just going to type extends JPA repository. And then we are going to add the team object and a long. And we will have to import JPA repository. And we'll also have to import our team entity that we created in the last lesson. And so the amazing thing about Spring JPA is that this is all you have to do. Once you have this entity and this interface repository, you will automatically be able to do CRUD operations to your database. Uh, so we're going to end the lesson here and we'll pick up in the next one.